<sighs> uh, I'm sick. Any comments about my voice will be annihilated. Um, so, I was given an idea. Uh, and I don't know how this is going to work. I was talking with a friend of mine, uh, Robin, and he had, I had told him that I was going to delete my account. Um, and this is not my account. Don't worry. This is not puberty. It's still intact for now. Um, but while I was talking to him, I had an idea. Um, and that is to, I have the name reinstated. It's the only one I could, like, that was available. I was surprised it was even available in the first place. I might actually change it to puberty. I might get the name moved over to this account because for all intents and purposes I'm not playing on puberty anymore. Um, for those of you who have heard me talk about it or have seen it in my videos, I'm not really interested in this game anymore. Uh, I don't really want to play it anymore. Um, I don't even know if this is going to go uh, for too long. Um, yeah, it it's been a long time coming, but um, the last like month has really kind of consolidated it. So I don't know. But then I, when I was talking to him about my account deletion, um, I had the idea to try this. And basically, how this is going to work is every single character I will tr have two attempts maximum on them, uh, and we're going to see how far we can get. This will be an episodic series, and I do kind of want it to I, I don't want this thing to take very long I don't want this to go on for like six months I want this to <laughs> maximum by the end of August <laughs> is how long I want this to take um, obviously if it takes longer then it just takes longer um, I might full disclosure it might not even be that long I might just drop it uh, it depends on motivation right now I could like hopefully see this taking a while or, I mean going for a while um, let me be abundantly clear. I'm doing this, and this is going to sound really shit. This is for money. Um, YouTube doesn't... It's not a lot of money from the game, but over the two years I've been doing it, I've made nearly $2,000. Um, and that's considering that they are PPE videos. So I figure I could make a lot more from episodic series, especially if it's done frequently. Um... This might be daily or semi-daily. Um, it might be every couple days, depending. Especially like later on, it will be. But for now, it's looking like it's going to be um, a daily thing. Um, this tutorial is wildly different than I remember. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this isn't like I. I'm I'm kind of interested in seeing how this is gonna go for now, um, because I've done this before. I've done plenty of new account experiences. Um, and I had one that I just kind of played on on my own. What is today? The third? Okay, I missed the last three days of the quest thing. ST, that matters. That That's a lot to miss. Um, oh, oh well. Malice. Oh, I can't. I won't even get these. Um, so, yeah, a couple of things for uh, newer players to note is that, yeah, the lack of vault space. The backpack's going to be really useful. But for the first couple characters, yeah, it's going to be an NPE. Um, anything in here? Yeah, the beginner's pack, that exaltation key pack. But yeah, I haven't played this in quite a while. Um, I think it's been about a week and a half since I've touched this game, and apparently some things have changed. I don't really know what, but, um, assuming this is done to completion... Uh, the two major goals will be 50 stars and 100 exalts. That is the... Oh my god. <laughs> I feel... I don't like... I already, like, don't want to, like, do this. <laughs> I'm just, like, sitting here playing just, like, the base, like, start of the game. And I'm like, this just feels wrong. Um, maybe my bitterness will subside as it goes on. But, like, I already don't want to do this. Um, and it it may be a slight deterrent to the entire process if I'm, like, complaining about the game from the start. Um, but I do actually think... I'm going to take the defense ring. I might try to make this a bit more... Um, that's better. Uh, like, better towards newer players. Um, obviously, in full... Well, honesty, I guess it is. I'm going to gun for the end game as soon as possible. Um, but I want to note that, yeah, if I'm going for 50 stars, 
50 stars is actually a rather easy goal, especially once I get a pet. Um, that is like man, that is a low ball. 100 exalts is a little bit worse. A third, or really realistically, a tertiary goal because it'll be a background thing is to, in some extent, learn the shatters. Um, to be honest, that's actually not too big of a concern of mine. I don't really care again because I'm probably not gonna play this game after this character. Um, or even maybe during this, or I'm not this character after this account, but I might need, not even be able to like complete this. I did ship pie for those of you who saw that, um, and that took me nearly four months, and I didn't even complete all of the characters. Uh, so I don't really know how this is gonna go. I have like very like I I have very low hopes of actually finishing it. Um, that's different. There's a lot of little things that are like they've changed. I guess it's only been like a week and a half, but like interesting how like little things are different like that. Hey, we unlocked a new class. But yeah, I'm not gonna. I I don't really think I'm gonna like just like start killing characters because I actually do kind of want some of these to go pretty far. Um, I guess a fourth goal should be to hit five stars on at least two characters. We'll set it really low again because I don't really. I have no idea how motivated I'm gonna be to do this. Um. Uh, we'll see off the start. Maybe I'll, like, find some sort of, like, push to do it. But, uh, realistically, the main reason, yeah, I'm here is because, like, if I upload this daily or every two days and it gets a decent amount of views, this is, like, a free, like, maybe $400, $500 that I could make over the summer. Assuming, I like, it doesn't perform great. But if it does, if it goes really well, then that's, like, a lot of potential money I could be making. Um, with all of my grievances aside, I'm going to treat this a bit more professionally from here on out for the rest of the thing. Um, so here's how this is going to go. Uh, for this first episode, I'm going to try and hit level 20. Well, uh, uh, hit level 20. Um, and then maybe hit like 10-4, 10-4. Keep in mind, if I have two attempts per character, this is the first attempt for wizards. So if I like die while I'm leveling, like shit, that's not good. Uh, which means I probably shouldn't be in hi uh, Highlands, but you know, oh well. Okay. Uh, how do I get to that? Are there any events going on? Probably not. I saw something somewhere when I looked yesterday about, uh, I'm not even going to touch that, about like some... May events going on, or whatever month this is, April? Nope, this is May. I don't really know what day it is anymore. I'm kind of... <laughs> time's been kind of weird for me. I've just been kind of going in a state of flow as I finish up my first year of uh, college. Um, but yeah, other than that, um, uh, I have, I'm in no discords right now. Um, so what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to, at some point, rejoin them. I think what I'm going to do is join them as the puberty with my discord. And then have them change my name and all of them to reinstate. I think that's how it's going to go. Alright, it's time for the worst fucking boss fight in the game. Let's get it, boys. That was stressful. Anything else of value? No. Not taking that. Oh my god. That was actually like legitimately scary. What the hell? Holy shit. Uh, we got our dungeon complete. Oh, UDL is something I probably want. That's absolutely not. That will kill me, that parasite. Uh, okay. Where is the UDL? That's not an undead layer. That is not an undead layer either. Where the fuck is it? It's probably gone. Oh, it's a library. Absolutely fucking not. Oh, that's useful. That that we need. No. No. Okay. Uh, please don't tell me I'm soloing this. Thank God. <laughs> I would have left, which is a shame because T caves are a really good source of uh, equipment. You could theoretically get an X HP here, which would be like a joke, but. <laughs> That would be interesting. Oh, that's still cute. Uh, I'll take the TK mark. Yeah, not having vault space is going to be a huge fucking pain. Um, 
really not thrilled about that. Oh, this dungeon is terrifying. Can I just say this? Can I be the first person to say this? The fucking Magic Woods is awful. I am, like, legitimately scared of that dungeon. Even on, like, I've seen people, like, get popped with fully maxed characters to some of the enemies in that thing. Manor, that would be... Oh, <laughs> round two? T-Cave? <laughs> oh, one last thing to note is that uh, if it wasn't obvious, every single character is going to be a PPE. Um, so if I get like 03 tops, if I end up getting even that far on this, if I end up doing that, um, if I get wrong tops and I complain about it, that is why, because they won't be useful. I forgot that that should be something I mentioned. Uh, I'll take two of them, I guess. These aren't useful feed power. Yeah, I should actually probably look at getting a pet soon. Um... But yeah, just by nature of like how this game works, unless this character dies, this first character is petless. Uh, and it might die, you know, it might just get stomped. Um, ooh, cute. Yeah, I, there is a really like nostalgic feel for being like 13 and being at this stage of the game or like really similar to it. Um, I, I've said it, I'm pretty vocal about it, like, if it ever comes up, that I think the best stage of this game for me, personally, was that period, is between Halls 2.0 and when Bard came out. I think, for me, Bard is kind of when everything fell apart. Not because of Bard specifically, but just because everything after that just changed how the game worked. It was 03, it was Exaltations, all of that just kind of changed, like, the core mechanic of this game for end game players. Um, I used to be really worried about like completion on characters for any of you guys who have seen Cowie and their really old Knight UPE and how they got almost everything except for Decca and Orcs' Greatsword. That kind of launched this whole thing that I had with a friend of mine that we were going to try and get a hundred percent perfection on a PPE. Uh, and I had this old night PPE that came out right as uh, it was alive for three months, and it happened right before O three came out. I did it, and I was like halfway there. And after that is when everything kind of like crumbled, I would say. Um, and I think the final nail in the coffin for me was the hard mode shatters. Um, the thing is, is I wasn't. It's not. Uh, I wouldn't say I wasn't a fan of the. Rework Shatters, I actually kind of like it. I think it's visually stunning, and I understand how to do it. Um, my problem is I really should have bothered to learn it uh, instead of just only doing PPEs. I almost died there, holy shit. Um, but because I only did PPEs, and I did PPEs for YouTube, there was always like, why would I sacrifice this character for, a, for a Shatters when I can just do like 03 and like you know get better stuff from that? So I never really, I put off learning shatters and then hard mode shatters happened and it became like super like elitist where like now you see like if you're on the realm of the mad god reddit that guy who has like the guy who keeps fucking posting pictures of him having like one of everything and all of the comments are like you need to like uh, some of them are joking but that some of them are like rightfully concerned like you really need to like evaluate like this is like a problem this isn't healthy. Um, and yeah, a lot of them are joking, but I do think there's a bit of, like, seriousness to that. Like, I do think that's probably a tea room down there. Um, I do think that there's, yeah, there's a ring of truth to that. Like, he apparently claims he's a student and worked full time, but he also has every single exalt. Like, I'm pretty sure he has all of them. And if you have enough time to, like, learn a completely novel dungeon and get that many in that time, like, this, that, that's, oh, is that a pet skin? No. Oh, wait, tight. I forgot I don't have any blueprints. Yeah, that that that's like, I don't know. You got to know when to stop. And obviously, I'm not going to judge how someone else spends their hobbies. You know, Lord knows I've put too much time into this game. But I, I don't think that, it, like, exemplifies me from, or any of the other player base from, like, showing, con expressing concern when someone invests that much time into anything. I would be concerned if someone invested that much time to, like, fucking, I don't know can't even think of a good example. This is what I get for being sick and recording this while I'm sick. Um, I, I don't know. I don't think... Th there's there's always got to be a limit. And maybe it's obviously it's up to the guy to impose his own limits. But, like, I don't know. It, it It's crossing into unhealthy behavior, in my opinion. Um, and that's kind of where I was like, Jesus, okay. And then there's someone else who was... I know who it was. Um, he was streaming on Twitch, Hard Mode Shatters. And in his Twitch stream, he said, like, not open to the public. So, like, what? You're just supposed to, like, sit there and watch him do this dungeon? 
Like that that's ridiculous. Like I don't know. I I like I I always kind of thought of myself as someone who took this game pretty seriously and like put a lot of time into it. But I've seen how much uh, like actual like in like I've seen how much some pe other people put in this game. And that was kind of like that that was like worrying for me. It's like, okay, like this is like an issue. <laughs> Obviously, you know, not like putting myself up on like a pedestal here. I I've invested too much time in this game. Uh, and I don't really know when to quit. And that's why I'm still here, despite being like, I'm out. Um, but I do think that kind of for a lot of the, like, end game player base, the, oh, that sucks. Um, the idea of stepping away can be pretty difficult. Um, and I would, I would consider myself an end game player uh, to some extent. Um, I, I don't really take it too seriously, but I still put, like, effort into my characters i'm not just gonna like kill it for fun like i know my limits um but i i i have like 300 exalts on puberty and i thought that was too much i thought i had too much there are people with false like 720 and they still play this game and i've seen like five of them and it's like why like what do you do you're a white star and you have everything what what do you do at that point I, I can't fathom it, but um that's kind of my little complaint. How long have I been recording for? Twenty minutes. Not even yeah, okay. Um yeah. Oh fuck, cube god. That's annoying. But uh moving on. Uh on to a bit more goals. Yeah, we're about to hit level twenty. Um I'll just go into oh, sweet baby corn, Jesus. I don't want to go near that. Um I'll go until I don't really know, some arbitrary time. Um but yeah, that that was kind of the main spiel for this, just kind of getting out what's been going on with the last like week and a half. Uh, yeah, I might switch the name to Puberty. I might go do that between like now and some future time, just for fun, just because I'm not gonna play on the actual Puberty anymore. Um, like that that's been certain for a little while. Um, I I want to kill this thing. This is this could drop me something good. Ah! <laughs> That almost fucking stopped me. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Oh, C-Dups. That's important, though. That sucks. That sucks. Getting a tier 5 is really difficult. That's annoying. I think the the main appeal of this though if I'm being perfectly honest is like the like the oh, there are like three characters that I actually want to play and then everything else is just going to be like why the fuck did I like just give me my money <laughs> everything else is going to be like shit like just just let me have my fucking like $30 from this one video I don't want to play sorcerer I don't want to play trickster I don't want to do this and I I think that's going to We're fine. I think that's going to be where, like, I bail from this. That's why I'm saying, like, this isn't going to have a long shelf life. Because I'm sitting here and I'm like, this will be fine. This will be fine. This will be fine. But this is, like, the first 20 minutes. This isn't, like, day five. <laughs> um, this was a massive mistake going in here. But we have a singular star. I'm not going to join a guild or anything like that, by the way. I'm just going to stick as this um, solitary. F no, um... I don't know. I might rejoin some discords in I think once I hit like 6 8, I think I'm going to like actually take the time to like treat this as a new experience because that's what's going to kill me is rushing into end game. If I take it slow, I might actually enjoy this. Uh, I rush or just nexus. But um I do think once I hit 6 8, I will maybe look at joining like some of the end game discords like Dungeoneer. Eventually I'm going to have to rejoin halls. Um, but the problem with this is I still want this to be, like, something worth watching. Um, so I want to not just focus on only O3. Uh, because I actually think that that's going to be what pushes me away from this. Like, I want to, like, try and motivate myself for to at least get through Wizard. Come on, that's, like, the bare minimum. Uh, subject to debate for after that, but at least Wizard. Um, I want to, I might like try and dip into halls too like once I eight eight because I how I might take this is one of my highest one of what I would consider to be one of my best characters was a paladin PPE I, that thing actually got like a hundred dollars by the way from that single video which is 
now it kind of makes sense why I'm doing this because it's just a game. Um, is I forced myself like at one five oh three one five everything else two five oh three two five everything else, and I might do that as well at least for wizard. Um, I think some of the lesser characters like at full disclosure the dagger classes. I'm just going to do pretty much only O3. If I get to that point, I'm doing only O3 for those. But for the melees especially, characters that I care about exalting, I'll probably take it a bit more candidly, or seriously. Oh, that's bad. But the problem is, is I won't fully exalt them, because I don't know how to do shatters. And I don't think I'm... I honestly... Uh, it's nice for me to sit here and say now, oh, I'm going to learn shatters, but I honestly think that like I'm going to be like... I'll do like two of them. Because I can do the first two bosses like in my sleep. Sentinel and Archmage are fine. It's just King. That like I've never bothered to learn. I think I've attempted it like three times. Maybe like five. I've completed it once and then I died of patience the next time. And that was it. Um, so we'll see how this goes. Either way, we'll just we'll see how far we get here. Oh, good God. This took way too long. Jesus, it's not gonna give me. Oh, never mind. Not gonna complain anymore. Oh wow, I just looked at my stats. Hello. Uh, what's my attack? Thirty-seven. Uh, everything else is like okay. Uh, Thirty-seven attacks. Just a shitload of wood labs. That's a tier two spell. Nice. Yeah. Um. Oh my god. Uh. We'll see how this goes. I have like. I'm not doing that. I have very low expectations. Both for this and for myself to like actually like commit to this. Maybe I'll find some like newfound motivation. Call twenty thousand views. Smile. But uh yeah. Um so now that we hit level twenty, uh the best thing to go about doing, um especially because we don't have a pet, is it's not great to do end game dun or like midland dungeons like that crawling depths that we just did. That took way too long and I nearly died three times. Um, so really the best thing, the best course of action right now for us to like efficiently max is to start running labs, snake pits, and sprite worlds. Labs are a good source of gear for wizard, um, but it's also a chance at a tier 5 health ring from the second boss and a very useful robe from the first boss. Uh, wisdom drops from the, both bosses can drop them, but the second boss drops defense, so it's a pretty easy source of it. Um, Sprite Worlds are a really great source of dexterity. It's one of the only consistent sources. It can also drop defense and the potential for a tier 5 uh, ability or a very good ST ring, uh, the Q-Band ring, um, which gives 80 health, 5 dexterity, but once you put in combat, it heals you for 100 health. So that's like extraordinarily useful to get. Obvi <coughs> obviously, <coughs> we could also get EP, Extreme Prejudice, um, and some other feed power items. Um, but yeah, snake pits can drop the obviously the snake eye ring, but it's also a good source of speed. Uh, once we max uh, speed um, and dex, we will start going. We're gonna probably risk starting woodland labyrinths uh, for our vitality and for our attack. Uh, despite their danger, wood labs are the best source of attack and it means you don't have to do the abyss of demons which i would consider is much like scarier early game than the woodland labyrinth uh, for the wood lab the only scary part is the boss for the abyss it's the entire dungeon so it's a better gamble early on to do woodland labyrinths it's also like much faster it could also give us some high feed power items and like higher items at that point we're pretty solid to hit six eight um in which case the end game starts um which is where this stops being like a kind of a t t tutorial and more or less becomes a demonstration of experience. Uh, once we get to the end game, I will certainly talk more about um, potential strategies to learn them, but also strategies when you don't have a pet. Um, yeah, I've noticed my biggest kind of flaw with doing this sort of like account restart thing is I tend to completely disregard the fact that this um the, I, I just go for end game really quickly uh and I've had a lot of people like when I've done these before talk about how it's a useful way to learn watching someone who knows what they're doing um and I <laughs> the first time I did one of these it never occurred to me that it could be seen as like a tutorial um but it, and it's not. Let me make that abundantly clear. This isn't good for a tutorial, um, but I'm. It's still like kind of useful to like 
Oh, oh, that's a sh oh wait, shit, that's useful. <laughs> yeah, I forgot we. <laughs> this is we're not playing with the divine pet. Um, on that regard, a lot of, I've had a lot of people with some of my videos complain and be like, yeah, we get it. It's easy to play the game when you have a divine pet. I've done a lot of petless characters, and I always find that really funny when people talk about that. Like, I it's it's never the people with divine pets talking about how easy it is with a divine pet. It's always the people with like a minimum like rare. But uh, yeah, labs are a pretty good source of this, despite the fact that the second boss can be a bit painful. But it's a really good source of defense if like you're not comfortable doing the crawling depths or the toxic sewers. Um, this is your go-to, uh, unless you get nothing, which that sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm most excited for the melees, um, just because I, melees have been the type of thing that I've just kind of consistently enjoyed playing. Through that's not useful. Like throughout my my tenure with this hate crime of a game, um, I I'm actually really excited to see what I can do with those PPEs. Uh, that's a great A. More damage. That's like the last thing I need, but it's still a really useful source. Yeah. So. As you can see, the c depths is a pretty massive risk. Did I just get two pots? No, that's just me being blind. Uh, it's a pretty massive risk of a dungeon to do, especially this early. Um, the boss can... The purple shots that the boss like shoots out uh, can nearly one-shot you at lower levels, and they expose you as well, and they, they're a dumbbell shot pattern, so they can like easily converge and kill you. Um, so it's a highly dangerous dungeon, uh, but it's very rewarding because greater wisdom and um, greater defense. We really should have gone for the black egg first, uh, but that's okay. There's so many of the people. There's so many people in here. I think I'll be okay. Uh, at least here's hoping. Another thing to note is that obviously, do yeah, these shots, these purple ones, those are dangerous, especially with the more boss damage. That's not something you want to get hit by frequently. You don't want to make that a habit. Um, this dungeon can also be a good source of mana if you're not comfortable getting it from other sources, or just you know, just to kind of chip it down. But it's also um, Doku and high f uh, the mace as well, and then high uh, high tier items, uh, the old tops, if you will. Tier 11s and 5s. Uh, I'm going to try and hit that. Nope. It's also an okay source of fame. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's going well so far. Oh, not for him. Oh, he died in the last C-Depths. Uh, I don't think I'm going to... I probably shouldn't risk doing the wine cell. I think that would be a pretty bad idea. Um, I, I There's, like, no reason to, you know? Like, we have plenty of time to do more of them. But uh, for now, yeah. There's no need to. Let's see if we uh, can get something here. Probably not. Oh, cute. That's a surprise. Hey! I don't really care about the whiz. Yeah, so uh, death and mana is really useful. Yeah, I'm going to probably spend the next little while just doing menial things. Like I said, snake pits and spark welds. Maybe touch into some c depths. Um, I kind of want this to be a bit dense. I don't want... <laughs> Uh, how do I phrase this without... No, it's going to sound bad either way. I don't want to spend too much time on, like, this. Especially not the... Uh, uh, let me be... I think the early characters, like, the first, like, row and a half is going to be the best part. I think after Paladin is when I'm going to start disliking this. Um, because those are... that The first chunk are the main fun characters. Um, besides Rogue. <laughs> but after the melees... I think it's going to kind of disintegrate from there. Um, but I do actually kind of want my melees to be the big brunt of my exalts. I I, because when I did shit pie, I was extremely disappointed uh, at how that went for my melees. I had such high hopes for them, and then I ended up having five st or three stars on Knight, five stars in Warrior, and I think four stars on Paladin. I actually lost an Ogmer on shit pie. If you go to that realm I page, you'll see that I lost that. Uh, was a predecessor toward what is now my best PPE and what will be my best PPE because, you know, there aren't any more. Um, but that half hour long night PPE was originally going to be on shit pie. Um, and then I died, so I moved back over to puberty, and here we are. Well, not on puberty anymore, so there's that. But uh, I do think after that is when it's going to start kind of falling apart because I'm going to lose interest, uh, but who knows, maybe, uh, actually, no, I do, I'm kind of excited for Kensei and Samurai, um, Kensei is a very pretty exalted skin, so we'll see. A little fun fact for y'all about, from someone who knows way too much about this game, is that I'm pretty sure Malphus built the Lost Halls, um, 
Yeah, it says something in his Realmai lore about him being the constructor of long pyroclast halls, which I'm pretty sure would be, yeah, the lost halls. So that's cute, I guess. This is, I just realized, this is a very precarious situation I'm in. Oh boy. Hey, cute. A little scary, but no, fine nonetheless. Oh, uh oh. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> oh, that just saved my ass. Holy shit. Okay. Um, how much defense we have to? 19. I think I can do the wine cellar. I don't. It's not a smart idea, but it's an idea. Uh, that was a tier three HP ring that would be sold. I don't think it's gonna. It'll barely one shot me. The blue boys. Um, I think I'm gonna gamble it. That was. That's fucking incredible. That just saved my ass. Um, yeah. If for those of you who aren't aware, the lich. Uh, this little fucking gray minions will drop the latter half of the Lich ST set. I just get zero, I guess. Yeah, there's no event going on. Um, and the Solus robe, yeah, uh, gives 60 health and 15 defense. It's a very defensive robe. It is extraordinarily useful if you can get your hands on it. Uh, if if you see Liches and they, if if you damage it enough and you buff it, go for it. They they're a little scary. Uh don't sit on them. They will uh kill you pretty quickly, but it is one of the best robes you can get as a new player. Um it is so it'll save your life. Um it, obviously it's not going to be too good if you want offensive set, but as an early player, it's really really best to go for something more defensive. And this is your best bet. <laughs> it's a phenomenal find if you can get your hands on it. It's good feed power too, which is kind of a shame. But I think I'm going to stick with it as a uh, main slot. That's a better gamble. Nice fucking snake eye ring. That's really useful. Um, I keep it in my fourth slot. And the purpose of it is, oh, that sucks. I need that. Is that you switch to it, space bar, switch back, and you can run. Uh, I want to know where that wood lab is. Okay, uh... sweet. <laughs> hey, first life pot. That's cute. Uh, I'm going to, you know, just skedaddle. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, that's the problem with woodland labyrinths. That's the one downside. So if you don't have a quality group, it's going to be a fucking train wreck. I'm going to switch back to the bigger realm. This is kind of a dead server. Normally West 4 is a decent amount of people, but you know, what do I know? Oh, one thing I should make clear that I just realized, it's two attempts per character to hit 15k. Obviously, I'm not going to like just kill it as soon as it hits 15k like I did with my last couple of PPEs. Um, but yeah, that's to hit 15k. So if I hit 15k and I on the first attempt and I die I, uh, afterwards, I will move on. Like, I will move on to the next character. Um, yeah, I uh, one thing to note is you could theoretically buy another character slot for fame. I'm not going to. It's 2,000 fame. I'm just going to buy the vault space. A second ca Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Second character slot isn't useful, except for actually this vault space. I might want to do that, like, eventually, but off the start, it'll be more about fame conser conservation than, you know, space. I do think once I get, like, a tier 4 health ring, or maybe even a tier 3, I'm going to replace... The, ah, oh, Penarak, that would have been nice. That would have been really valuable. Those are really good for PPEs. Yeah, I'm going to replace the Claws. And the important thing to note is that they have really good feed power. So, yeah, that's just going straight into whatever gullet <laughs> of a pet I can find. Um, I'd like to go in this episode. I don't really think so. But uh, we'll see. We're making some really uh, rather fantastic progress so far. Um... This is where we're sitting at with our stats. Obviously, we could use a bit more decks. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably be here for about another hour. Uh, there's not going to be much commentary with it. If something interesting happens, obviously, I'll show it. But, um, yeah, this will just be a bit more uh, mundane. Nice. Uh, no, I'm not going to do Janus. That's cool. Uh, we technically meet Rex for the uh, Nest server now. We could do that <laughs> eventually. All right. Well, time to do our first wine cellar. Uh, this could go pretty poorly. Um, biggest thing to look out for is that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that is the biggest thing to look out for. Those blue things will one-shot you. Um, 
generally the rule of thumb is, is if you have around 20 defense and 700 health, you will survive. Um, as you see, if I had taken the full shotgun, I'm pretty sure I would have died. Um, yeah, that was pretty stupid. Uh, you know, don't really hug walls. If you can't see where you're going, assume you're going <laughs> to, that's going to happen. Um, they are, they're scary. Obviously, it's good to know how to confuse control for situations like that where these guys ding you. They're the ones that spawn the blue boys, so it's uh, pretty important that you know if how to like get away from them because you don't want to get confused back into them. Um, but overall, it's not too bad. It's all about you know speed and reaction time and just kind of staying away from the centers because they always stay near the centers. So stay kind of close to the wall and watch your mini-map as you run. Um... You can see where they clump up, and you're going to want to like just swerve out of the way. It's not too difficult, but it is a little scary if you don't know what you're doing. Running, oh, this phase can be a little wonky at times. Um, yeah, I think this will be the last thing I do. I think I'm going to head out after this. Um, but it could be really good. Obviously, I don't really expect the wine cellar to be that good. Uh, like It's always every like once every like 10 wine cellars. And I've found that either you get a top immediately or never. This could very rarely be one of those characters where it's like, hey, we can't do halls because we need a tier 12 for the requirements, and then we're going to have to crash 03. Um, or do streamer runs. That That's a very real opportunity. Um, but we'll see if we get anything here. Blue bag. Oh, that shit. That sucks. Um, I'm going to take the acclaim to feed it. I'm not going to leave just yet. I saw some good stuff. I'm going to leave just yet. That sucks. Cosmic right there would have literally solved every single problem I've ever had in my life. Um, I'll take the acclaim for the feed power. It's 450. Uh, I'm not going to feed the marks. We didn't end up getting a pet, which is fine. But, um, yeah, we're doing pretty well. Uh, my head's foggy. So I'm going to go lay down. Thanks, fellas, for joining me. I'm going to take a nap.